Collective nouns. What is a collective noun? Collective nouns are used to describe a group or collection of people, animals and inanimate objects. For example, that's a crowd of people. Right? Herd, flock, nest, gaggle, group. Right? These are all collective terms there. Right? There's a great big list of them. There's a link to them at the bottom of the video. Please check that out. There are so many of them. There are loads. But uh, I have came up with my own list for this video, right? A list of collective nouns. Army, audience, board, cabinet, crowd, class, committee, company, corporation, council, department, family, firm, group, jury, majority, minority, navy, public, school, senate. In America, society, team. Right? These are all collective nouns. And you can have more than one of them. So, yes, you can pluralize, right? You can pluralize collective nouns if you've got more than one. Two army becomes armies. Two families, a family, but if there's two, then it's families. A group, if there's two, then it's groups. I know it's quite obvious. However, public, you may notice it down there, public, that can't be pluralized, okay? Okay, well, we'll now have a look at the collective nouns written in sentences. He is in the army. The cast have arrived. The choir sing well. I have a film crew. Your family is welcome here. Gangs of people are not allowed. The staff will assist you. The team want to win. Or you could also say, we have a team of football players. You may notice off. This word here is used a lot with collective nouns for an obvious reason. It describes what the collective noun is. It helps describe. Look at this here. A herd. A herd of what? It's a herd of cows. It could also be a herd of wildebeest. Just like a bunch of flowers could be a bunch of grapes. Here's a heap, a heap of work, a heap of clothes. We need that word off to describe it properly. What about groups of people written in sentences? The audience applauded loudly. A crowd of children have assembled outside. Bring the mob in. This political movement is like no other. A throng of cheering fans applauded their hero. So let's have a look now at animals. Collectively, collective nouns. For animals, a herd of cows are outside. A flock of geese are flying south. Trixie had a litter of pups. We saw a school of fish while scuba diving. Beware of the swarm of bees in the garden. There are many collective nouns which refer to animals and birds. Please check out the website below. This gives you loads of them. These are just some examples. Please check this out. Look at this here. An area of hawks. A business of ferrets. A duel of doves. An embarrassment of riches. Wouldn't that be nice? Look at all the different ones we have for flock there. A galaxy of starlets. A herd of hippopotami. Look at all the other ones for herd. Look at this here, an intrusion of cockroaches. There are so many, some have some very obscure names. Look at this here, a kaleidoscope of butterflies. Look at that one, a murder of crows. And look at this, a pride of lions, a quarrel of sparrows. A slew of homework, a sloth of bears. Ubiquity of sparrows, a warren of wombats, a yoke of cattle? A zeal of zebras. There are so many like that. Please check out that uh, link. And don't forget that every collective noun featured here is also written below. I have a lovely batch of strawberries for you. There is a big bunch of stuff in the bedroom. Would you like a bunch of bananas? This bundle of clothes needs washing. Please check out my record collection. A fleet of taxis are now on the rank. 
we can play poker if you have a pack of cards. Definitions for collective nouns which refer to inanimate objects. For example, batch. A quantity or consignment of goods produced at one time, like a batch of bread or a batch of letters. Bunch. A number of things typically of the same kind, growing or fastened together. A bunch of flowers, a bunch of grapes, a bunch of bananas. Bundle. A collection of things or material tied or wrapped up together. For example, a bundle of, of newspapers, a bundle of sticks. Okay. Collection, a group of objects or works to be seen, studied or kept together. A collection of stamps, fleet. A collection of ships or vehicles. Pack, that's a small cardboard container. That can be a pack of cigarettes, for example. But you can also have a pack of gulls, a pack of hounds, a pack of mules, a pack of weasels. There's so many different ones we can have for pack. Yes. This is what happens with collective nouns. We use the same collective noun for a lot of different things. Now, you'll also find collective nouns which all mean the same thing. Like these here, for example, heap, pile, stack. A quantity of objects stacked or thrown together. I.e. a heap of clothes, a pile of clothes, a stack of clothes, a heap of work awaits, a heap of work, a pile of work awaits, our a stack of work awaits. You can use the same one, it's up to you. Set, that is a collection of things that belong together, a set of tools, a set of glasses, a set of plates, a set of cutlery. Stash, well that's for hidden things. For example, a stash of cash, a stash of beer, a stash of biscuits, or a stash of chocolate, a stash of sweeties. Mm. Now, don't forget that uh, these collective nouns can also be used as verbs. This happens a lot, nouns and verbs. It causes confusion, but look, it all depends how it's written. Look at this here. I set the table. That's as a verb. Do you like my set of plates? That's set there as a collective noun. I will stash my money away. That's written as a verb. Collective noun. This is my enormous stash. Remember that collective nouns can be described with an adjective, you see? I found a big stash of cash. I saw an enormous flock of sheep. Your collection is good. That's as a predicate adjective. The staff are helpful. Also a predicate adjective. That's where we're putting that's when we're putting the adjective on the right hand side of the sentence. The adjective doesn't have to go before the noun. So please subscribe for many more lessons. Let us remember that everything you saw in this video is listed below and please check out my other lessons as well. We've got another very good one on pronouns, proper nouns and nouns up there. Check out my English playlist. You can even check out my learning basic maths playlist. Very, very helpful. And of course, subscribe so you don't miss a thing. See you later.